By the end of this video, you'll know how to approach and choose between multiple job offers to ensure you're making the best possible decision. If you are a mid to senior level ambitious professional, you've probably put together a really great resume and have nailed the majority of your interviews leading to multiple job offers. You've now got to sift through and figure out which offer you want to take on, which can definitely be a little stressful as you don't want to feel like you're making the wrong decision. So I've got you covered in today's video as I will go through how to make a professional decision when it comes to receiving multiple job offers. So first off, you want to see which one gives you the best opportunity to grow. Review the offers and see which one provides you with the best opportunity to grow, whether it's a step up, down, or laterally. If your goal is to be making more money and have a better title, then you'll want to accept the offer that is a step up from your current position. If you're looking for a position that can give you more free time to be with your family, then you may want to consider taking a different approach, the position that is a step down or offers a lateral move from what you are currently doing. Next, you want to understand what duties are required for each role. Don't lose sight of what the actual job entails. Many people will be focused on the pay and the title, but forget to think about what the responsibilities will look like, um, what you'll be doing uh, from a day to day. So don't get me wrong, the work culture and people that you'll be working alongside are also important factors, but it's extremely important to know exactly what you'll be getting into so you don't later run into burnout and resentment of the company. Also, take a look at which company would you want to advance in. Aside from all the other pretty features of a job, which one can you see yourself sticking with long term? This is a question you have to ask yourself. Look at everything from the company culture to the type of day to day things you'd be doing um, and narrow down which company you could see yourself being happy to work with at, you know, let's say two to th or three to five years down the road. Whichever one excites you the most to grow with is this usually the answer. Finally, compare your managers. The direct manager that you'd be reporting to makes such a big portion of what your overall work experience will be like. A lot of clients of mine have told me that it's usually the manager that makes them want to quit. Uh, I know you can relate to this and not the company itself. So you want to make sure that whichever offer you take includes a manager that motivates you, makes you enjoy what you're doing and someone you want to grow with. If your instinct is off about a certain manager and you don't feel like your values align with the way they work, then take that as a clear sign that you probably won't work well with them down the road. At the end of the day, you have to trust your gut and go with whichever offer best resonates with you and your ultimate career goals. With that being said, if this video resonates with you and you're feeling a little stuck with making a career decision, I'd love to hear from you. Feel free to send me a DM. I would be so happy to chat and provide you with details about my career programs.